Are you bored of drinking the same old green tea every morning? Chances are you've come across that pretty looking green powder with a bamboo whisk trending all over social media timelines. We're talking about authentic stone ground matcha tea. It comes all the way from Japan as one of the most desired superfoods today. Hi viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. When it comes to the organic stuff, there's nothing quite as powerful and popular as matcha. Traditional Japanese tea ceremonies have revolved on this powdered tea since the 12th century. Until recently, this valuable Japanese commodity made its way to the mainstream Western culture. If you've been looking to know more about this tea, keep watching today's video, where we'll tell you all about it. From how it's made, health benefits, to what are the different types and more, watch until the end to learn about all of them. Let's begin by telling you how exactly matcha is made. Matcha is stone ground green tea leaves processed into fine tea powder. The word matcha translates to powdered tea. The powder is then sifted and whisked with hot water. The complicated process required to produce matcha makes it more expensive than others. It differs from the other teas because of the process known as shading. Through this process, farmers keep the green tea plants away from direct sunlight for 20 days. Shading boosts the plant's chlorophyll levels and increases the production of L-theanine. This organic compound in tea makes us feel calm and stimulated at the same time. Throughout the production process, Japanese tea farmers only pick the best buds. Leaves rolled out flat before drying, and leaves laid out to dry result in two different green teas. The leaves rolled out before drying become a premium type of tea known as Gyakuro. Meanwhile, the leaves laid out to dry become tincha, which are then used to make matcha. Since whole tea leaves in cold storage will last longer than powdered tea, it's kept refrigerated as tincha until it's ready to be packaged. What follows next in this process is what sets apart matcha from regular green tea. Deveining, de-stimming, and stone grounding the leaves into talcum fine powder need time and expertise. The best and most expensive matcha comes from Japan. Green tea production is most abundant in Yuji, Nishio, Shizuoka, and Kyushu. So do take notes of these on the packaging, otherwise matcha from Japan will also do. What type of tea do you prefer to drink and why? Is it green, black, matcha, or anything else? Tell us quickly down below in the comments section. So what types of matcha tea are available on the market? Number 1. Ceremonial Grade This grade is traditionally served whisked just with hot water. It's the highest grade, made with the finest leaves plucked from the first harvest. It also has the highest price point, so it's best reserved for special occasions. Traditionally, ceremonial grade matcha is not made with other sweeteners or additives such as milk. Number 2. Latte Grade Like ceremonial, this grade is also made from the first harvest leaves, and it's best balanced with milk in a latte. There are very few brands that make a latte grade matcha. If you're making a drink or dessert where you want the vibrant green matcha color and a smooth taste, use a latte-grade mocha. If you're thinking of making the leap into becoming a daily matcha drinker, this is what we'd recommend as a starting point. Number 3. Culinary Grade This grade is traditionally meant for baking or matcha smoothies. Culinary-grade matcha is generally made from second or third harvest. Higher quality brands may use only second harvest. When baking, culinary grade will still produce vegetal and nutty profiles in your baked goods. Those subtleties noticed in the ceremonial and latte grades are indistinguishable. When drinking, however, you'll notice the matcha is much more astringent and bitter. Feel like you're missing out? Make sure you join our millions of viewers by hitting that subscribe button and staying up to date on all of our great bestie content. Moving on, here are some amazing health benefits of matcha. Number 1. Weight Loss Matcha tea has virtually zero calories and is a wonderful boost to your metabolism. For many, the daily dose of concentrated vitamins and minerals is exactly what they need to create the enzymes and changes to burn fat. Not to mention the unique compounds promote extended energy and improved blood flow to maximize workouts. Studies have found that drinking matcha green tea once a day increases the rate of calories that are burned. It was shown to increase the normal 8 to 10% range to as much as 35 to 43% every single day. Matcha green tea has none of the negative side effects associated with diet pills and more severe calorie-restricting diets. Number 2. Boosts Energy and Endurance 
Unlike a cup of coffee or an energy drink, matcha lets you maintain a steady flow of energy levels after drinking. You won't experience any energy crash one or two hours after drinking a cup of matcha. And unlike coffee and other heavily caffeinated drinks, you won't get the jitters or have to worry about heart palpitations. Matcha is the perfect fuel before and after workouts. When you drink it before a workout, it increases blood flow to the muscles, protects the heart, and increases the availability of critical muscle fuel called glycogen. Also, when taken after workouts, the potent antioxidants reduce exercise-induced oxidative stressors. These have been known to make recovery take longer and it can be difficult for your body to tackle on its own. Number three, better skin. The benefits of matcha tea expand to your skin as well. It contains cachins, which have been proven to be effective in reducing signs of aging and protecting the skin against harmful UV rays. They can also improve skin elasticity and rejuvenate the skin to reveal a youthful, radiant complexion. Chlorophyll present in tea may also flush out toxins from the skin and even out the complexion. Number four, reduce stress. Matcha contains a compound called L-theanine, which studies have shown create a calming, relaxing effect. However, this compound doesn't just make you chill out, it also aids in the creation and release of hormones which make you happy. Number 5. Boosts Immunity Matcha green tea fortifies the immune system and limits the invasion and growth of viruses and bacteria in the body. The special antioxidant called EGCG is effective in fighting and protecting the body against various bacterial and viral infections. It binds to the cells in the body and inhibits the growth of many disease-causing microorganisms, including influenza A, hepatitis, herpes, and the bacteria that causes strep throat. Did you know that the best way to boost your immunity is not through medications and supplements, but by using natural methods? Learn more about the best ways to do it by watching this video titled 7 Ways to Naturally Boost Your Immune System. Now back to everything you wanted to know about the amazing matcha tea. So, what are the things to consider when buying matcha? Number 1. Check the import label. We now know that most of the premium kind of matcha comes from Japan. Green tea thrives in this country due to the quality of soil, fresh water, and optimal climate. Number 2. The greener, the better. When it comes to teas, the color will tell you the quality of the product. Top quality matcha should have a vibrant green color, but cooking matcha does not. It comes from a variety of leaves blended for culinary purposes. It adds rich flavor and aroma to many regional cuisines. Number 3. As fine as it gets. Producing matcha takes a slow and delicate process. It involves using a fine sieve to break up dry clumps. High-quality matcha should have particles as fine as cornstarch that suspend itself in the water when you mix it. On the other hand, low-quality matcha can be coarse and gritty. Number 4. Use your senses to check. High-quality matcha has a unique scent to it. It has an aromatic, vegetal smell that is fresh and enticing. As the Japanese put it, matcha has umami or a pleasant savory taste. Premium-grade matcha does not have a bitter taste but has a hint of sweetness. The high concentration of amino acids adds a sweet flavor to the tea. Number 5. Quality Packaging By this, we do not mean to look for fancy packaging, although sometimes that too helps. And since now you know how matcha is kept pure and produced through a delicate process, packaging them is just as important as producing them for quality. Look for a product that's wrapped so that matcha is not exposed to air and light, preferably in an opaque, resealable, and airtight container. Otherwise, the matcha enzymes will oxidize, and the product will lose its freshness and quality. Number 6. Value for your money High-quality matcha costs more than regular tea, but don't depend only on the price without checking all the other qualities we've talked about. Also, be extra careful of matcha products that bear the label ceremonial or premium grade, but are very low-priced. Don't fall into the trap of sensationalized claims. Finally, what does matcha taste like? As a traditional Japanese drink, matcha powder is traditionally whisked up with hot water into a frothy drink meant for sipping. It's also popular to mix it up with steamed tea for an everyday matcha latte, enjoyed like you would a morning cup of coffee. The result is a rich, earthy tea with vegetal grassy notes, sweet nuttiness, and pleasant bitter undertones. In its most pure ceremonial form, whisked up with hot water, the flavor is more grassy. But it can be dressed up with honey and milk for a sweeter morning drink. 
Apart from matcha, there are other types of teas like black and ginger, which have a wide range of health benefits for your body as well. Learn more about their goodness by finding out reasons you should drink black tea every day, or understanding what drinking ginger tea every day does to your body. So go ahead and watch one or both of these videos for maximum benefits. Would you ever replace your everyday tea with matcha? Let us know in the comments section below.